pretty nice. So today we're taking a look at the Glority hammer drill. This one was sent to me at no charge for this review, and we're going to review it by uh, breaking some stuff up. But before we get that, let me show you a few things here. So they do give you a chisel. They also give you a a rounded uh, breaking chisel, chisel, like if you're going to be breaking up some concrete. We're going to be doing some of that today. They also give you uh, several mason bits right here, and then they also give you a few smaller mason bits in these little packages right here. Now they've also given you some uh, some lubrication and they've also given you a wrench so that you can get inside and grease your uh, your machine. To change your bit, you're just gonna draw this back, just like that, draw that back, and then you can pull your bit out and change it. And you wanna make sure that you get that bit all the way in there. Now the thing about these bits is they're called an SDS bit. And so, inside the chamber here you're going to lock into these grooves and it's going to allow you to do two different things it's going to allow you to hammer and it's also going to allow you to rotate so you're either going to have a rotating hammer drill or you're just going to have a hammer drill so this is going to do four different operations it's going to drill hammer drill chisel and swivel chisel so uh, we're going to take a look at all of those and, and show you how they work on the side here, you do have rotatable handle, whichever works best for you. So you're just going to turn this and loosen it and then put it into the position that fits you the best. So if we're gonna be hammering, I want it right up here so that it's comfortable and I can put some pressure on it. Now you're gonna get about 930 RPMs with your speed control and your speed control is from a one to a six. And that's going to get you all the way up to 930 RPMs. And it's also going to get you the impact of 4,500 times per minute into a piece of wood or concrete. So I just want to show you with this large chisel um, what these look like. Now to change it from a drill to a hammer or to a hammer drill, right here on the side, you got a little push button that you can turn that and lock that into place. I'll show you what that looks like. And you... So this is going to be drilling and hammer drilling, so you're going to want to have a different bit in there. But you can feel that going in and out and rotating at the same time. Now if you just wanted to hammer drill, you can also change it in the, you got a, a rear changer as well. If you are drilling or if you're hammer drilling. Alright, so let's get our safety glasses on and we're going to start with some wood, then we're going to break some brick. We're going to try to drill into some masonry and uh, see what kind of power this thing has. Pretty nice. Look at that. You can see how far that went in. And by the way, if you are drilling into a certain depth, they do give you a depth gauge as well. One other thing you need to know about this is that they do send you some extra brushes. And what this tells me is the manufacturer is aware that these go bad over time. If you're using this consistently and constantly on a daily basis, those brushes could go bad. And so they've sent you some extra brushes to replace that so that you can continue using your uh, your drill. And just do so much with this. If you're into construction, if you're into concrete, then I think that everybody needs one of these hammer drills with four different operations to it. <laughs> 